securing the venue? Like, how did that come about? Because that, that venue is probably hard to secure, but also a very good location in terms of having a festival. Like it's, it's not, you know, like you have to contact the, the, like the venue hosts and, yeah. uh, like it takes like there's a little bit of paperwork and whatnot and and they do have a lot of other events like they have like fishing tournaments and stuff and like yeah. you know like art shows and stuff but it's the symphony orchestra plays there yeah, yeah it's awesome. if you just put in the time you can do it it's like pretty much the same as really any public venue so, I think. so what was the pitch like hey we want to have an edm music festival here <laughs> like let us have it they're like okay yeah here's yeah you know, fill it out sign the check <laughs> yeah. Yeah. private public or ticket event okay here you go and yeah all right was was yeah. there any selling that was involved to maybe the artists or maybe even sponsors as well for this event? Because it's never you have nothing to show for it yeah. when you begin. So yeah. selling was big, like a big uh, thing. Like even the, the artists from from Austria, mm -hmm. uh, who are actually very good friends with now Domi and myself, yeah. Adam Adam as well. But we Domi and I went to Amsterdam twice to see him play and hang out with him, and we and in saw, him, saw him play in Ibiza. He invited us out, yeah. and we ended up going to yeah. Mark Garrix's party too, which was crazy. Damn. Yeah, yeah. like that because so, not whole other story too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like that's when, when we reached out to these artists. I said like we sent them an offer, and then the guy just like texted me back because my phone number's in my email signature, and he's just like. Hey, like you know that we're from Austria, right? We're like, yes, I, yeah, I get it. <laughs> it's just like, okay, well, great, you know, okay, I can look at flights coming up for kind of, the, you know, for like one day. It's like, well, that's it's like twenty four hours of flight, and I was like, you want to just come and stay like the weekend at the lake? We can just party together, you know. <laughs> so uh, the guy from Austria, Zuda, mm -hmm. and uh, another one from he's from Brazil, but was flying out of Port uh, Portugal at the time. Um, so like, hey guys, like, do you want to just like stay the weekend? They stayed four nights. And uh, we just had we had an after party on the dog with the DJ equipment <laughs> and stuff. Then another party the next day. But, yeah. But something that when we, we were uh, drinking with Sean from Zuda, he we kind of discussed like we were friends at this point, so we could kind of like more discuss, like hey, like what did you think? Like when you like we the reach out and stuff like that. And he said that his manager originally said these like it's a first time music festival in Canada. Typically these things don't do well. Like mm -hmm. they they usually implode. There's like not enough like. You'll like go there, there'll be 10 yeah, people. 10 people, yeah. like it's not good for your image, like all this stuff. Wow. And he really tried to talk him out of it. And Sean ended up saying to his manager, like, what if no one ever want, like, took a chance on us to play in their club? Mm. Like, we, we want, we're here now, but like, if we, yeah. if no one ever said, yeah, we'll give you a shot, then, then we would never, uh, have like be where we are so so he said i'm i'm gonna do it we're gonna go and he literally said like if we if i if we come there and there's five people we'll put on a good show yeah, for the said, five I'll people put on and the, then we'll leave yeah, i'll put on the yeah. same show like that we'll play at ashwaya that i'll play at lakeside live for like 10 people yeah so that was really like and we kind of knew that too because like when we were reaching out to artists like everyone was like oh, what's your track record how is your uh like how many years have you done this like send us like footage of it what artists have you had in the past what previous like events? What previous events uh, we all went to university like, together. Like, so. <laughs> like, what experience do you have? And I was yeah. like, hey, I have a, a marketing major and international business major. And, <laughs> but I really love music festivals. <laughs> I've been to a lot of music festivals. I know. Uh, I time. think I know a thing or two. Yeah. But, yeah. But, but it is easy selling an international act to make their yeah. Canadian debut. Right. And, yeah, then, that is and, then, and then tied back to sponsors. Mm. Hey, we got international acts coming. This is a legit event. Right. And then so you're using kind of both things to sell each other yeah. right so it was an easy sell at the end of the day i think yeah 